Hi, I'm Andy, a collection specialist at Credit Sage, and my goal is to help people learn how they can remove 11 charter communications from their credit report. And in many cases, without paying the debt at all. So if that's you or someone you know, I know that you're going to walk away from this video knowing what the next best step is to take. Um, now, I, I'm not saying that you shouldn't take action. You know, for example, if you know or believe that 11 charter communications or any of the other accounts in your credit report are the result of identity theft uh, or have a wrong balance after you've already paid um, or any other major issues that are seriously affecting your life, you may be owed a settlement. And we work with a network of local attorneys that will work on your behalf at zero cost, win or lose, in addition to getting the accounts deleted permanently. Um, or, you know, if no issues like that exist and you just want the account removed from your credit report, we can help with that too. Call us today. Our number is in the description below. So um, today I wanted to go through some of the most important questions that we get about this company. And, excuse me, I think the first one is really important. And that is, can you be arrested or get jail time for a debt with 11 charter communications? I put this one at the top of the list because we have a lot of callers that are terrified that this could happen. Um, and it makes sense. You know, few people are really taught how uh, credit and debt work in school. Uh, I didn't know the answer to this question until I got into the business. And um, to set your mind at ease, the answer is that unless the debt is related to, to specifically unpaid taxes or unpaid child support, you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So no need to worry about that whatsoever. Um, the other thing is that the, the amount of the debt doesn't matter either. You could refuse to pay a thousand dollars or you know a million dollars, and you cannot be arrested or get jail time. So, who is Eleven Charter Communications? Why are they showing up on your credit report? So, um, they are what's referred to as a debt collector or credit collection agency, and they buy debts, unpaid accounts like credit cards, for example, often for very cheap. And then they try to collect the full amount, okay? So, for example, imagine that for a moment you have uh, an unpaid card with Capital One for $1,000. 11 Charter Communications could come along and buy that debt for just $100. But they don't try to collect that amount. They try to collect the full $1,000 from you, which gives them a 10x return on their investment. So yeah, these companies can make a lot of money uh, when you think about that. Um, and, and damaging your credit score by reporting the debt to your credit report is a primary strategy that they have to get you to pay. Uh, however, what, what many people don't know is that paying a debt that's on your credit report does not remove the account attached to it. That account will sit there for seven years damaging your score, whether it's paid or not. So um, so a lot of the time, paying isn't actually in the best interest and could just be wasting your money. Now, in rare cases, paying debts uh, can even hurt your score further. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, now, in addition to credit reporting, uh, they may send scary letters. Uh, they may call a lot, even calling family members, colleagues. Um, and, and I want to mention here, too, that if a collector has ever threatened you or harassed you during non-business hours, you may be owed a lawsuit. So, again, that's another case that you want to give us a call so, so that we can connect you with a local specialist that will take action quickly. Um, now, should you negotiate a settlement with 11 Charter Communications? Settling your debt with 11 Charter Communications depends on your goal. Um, Typically, if you're wanting to improve your credit score, paying isn't in the best option. Um, now, why is that? Well, because, as I mentioned before, even if you pay the collection, it will remain on your credit report for seven years, damaging your score that whole time. 
Now instead, we always recommend working with an expert like us to come in and review these accounts for you. Um, and if certain issues exist, then the accounts may be removed entirely. And this is a win-win. You won't have to waste money paying a debt that won't help your score. And the negative account gets removed from your report. So it's perfect. Uh, yeah, which leads me to the next question. How do you remove 11 charter communications from your credit report? So the Fair Credit Reporting Act gives every person the power to challenge information on their report. I will say that the knowledge required to do this it can just be a bit more involved than it might seem. Um, I'm not saying that you, you shouldn't learn how to do it, um, but just, you know, it, it, it may take some weeks, maybe months, uh, really learning how to do it properly. However, um, you know, if you'd like to hire a professional to come in and handle it for you and be able to ensure that it's done properly the first time and save the extra time, well, we're happy to take care of it, okay? Um, we've dealt with 11 charter communication accounts many times, and they regularly have issues, and we've helped numerous clients deal with them, and uh, we'd be happy to take care of it for you if you'd prefer. Um, this is a good question. How can you get uh, 11 charter communications to stop calling you? <laughs> Uh, this, this is always very annoying. And as I mentioned before, 11 Charter Communications will be calling you. Uh, I mean, that's their attempt to collect the debt that they've purchased. Which means, unfortunately, the only reason that they're going to stop calling you is if, well, if you, you settle your debt with them uh, or uh, you work with a company like ours to potentially have them removed from your report altogether. Um, will 11 Charter Communications try suing or garnishing my wages? Um, 11 Charter Communications, suing is unlikely. Uh, it can happen. Uh, it does happen. Uh, but really, in our experience, it's, it's very rare. Um, there, there are many laws around how long they can sue for, what they can do if they win, and it's, it's really it's just a long process. Uh, however, you know, if you're able to... Uh, uh, hire us and we can find certain issues with the accounts, they won't be able to collect us, uh, collect at all, which is another benefit of using an expert. Uh, what are my rights when dealing with 11 charter communications? I get this question all the time. And the answer is great. You have the right to dispute any of the debt that 11 charter communications has purchased, okay? 11 Charter Communications is governed by the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, or the FDCPA. And as I mentioned before, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FCRA. Now, these acts can seem very complicated, but really they provide a great deal of power to the consumer if you know how to use it properly. Now, if you don't have time to research these acts, it's not a problem. Call us today uh, to discuss your options Again, I'll put our number in the description for you to find. And with that, I'll see you next time.